Okay, this is the meeting of the Fall River Commission on Disability um, for Wednesday, May 10th. Anybody? <laughs> May 10th. I'm sorry. Wednesday, May 10th. Um, just give me a few seconds, and I will find the open meeting law statement, which we must read. Okay. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video or, or let me start again. Pursuant to the open meeting law, any person may make an audio or video recording of this public meeting or may transmit the meeting through any through any medium. Attendees are therefore advised that such recordings or transmissions are being made, whether perceived or unperceived, by those present and are deemed acknowledged and uh, permissible. Okay. And um, next is the roll call. Chairman Dennis Paulzelli. Present. Commissioner Lisa Silva. Present. Commissioner Dan Roblard. Present. All right. The next item is um, public input. I'll ask three times if there's any public input. Um, uh, is there any public input? Is there any public input? Is there any public input? Okay. Um, Next is the approval of the minutes for the meeting of Wednesday, April 19th, 2023. Motion to accept. I'll second that. All right. Is there any any discussion? Roll call. Chairman Dennis Paulselli? Yes. Commissioner Lisa Silva? Yes. Commissioner Dan Robillard? Yes. Okay. Work group updates under ADA. We have a couple of things coming. I just got a uh, an email um, from Sandy Dennis, the executive director, um, and this has a lot to do with, I guess, some nature trails. They're working with Perkins School for the Blind and a number of places and would like to know if there's some way that we can help out. So I'm going to refer this to the ADA work group for vetting and then I will schedule them um, to the full commission after they've met with the ADA work group. Mm -hmm. um, Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, when, when, you do, uh, when, you, um, when you reply back to Ms. Dennis, uh, would you ask her to forward any documents uh, uh, ahead of the meeting? I will. I will because I, 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 I wanted some clarifications also, but I knew that I knew that we would be able to get a lot of questions answered in the work group. And by the way, um, work groups um, I am in no me by no means keeping people from coming before the full commission. I just think that we can spend more we can go into things with more detail if proposals are vetted before they go before the full commission. I just think it's it's much more efficient that way. So we will be meeting with Sandy Dennis as an ADA work group since this is an ADA matter. And um and then uh, I I, I would and just like to go to the full commission, but I will make sure that any any documents and so on are presented. Um, what do you call it? Are presented to us um, before the work group meeting. Um, and I also got a call from. I guess they're doing some construction at Battleship Cove. So I will be getting some documents. Um, I don't think there's anything we need to vote on, but um, I will be sharing the documents. There's going to be an application form with some, um, with an outline of what they're Debbie trying Pacheco. to. Debbie Pacheco. Hi, Debbie. There's Hi, to... sorry I'm late. I got tied up in another meeting, but I'm here that's, now. That's okay. Um, there's going to be a... Um, 
um, there's going to be a kind of a, they're asking for a variance. This is Battleship Cove. I guess they're doing some renovation. And, he, and the variance, the variance will be explained in the documentation. Since some of it was conceptual, I had trouble conceptualizing it. So he's just going to send the whole packet to me and I will share it with the rest of the commission. Um, and I would ask that any feedback that you need to give this person, if you can give it um, directly to the individual, okay? And just um, um, just do it that way. I don't know when the hearing is scheduled before the Architectural Access Board. I don't know any of that. I just know that there is somewhat of a time sensitive um, thing to it and as soon as I get the packet I will forward it to the rest of you and if somebody wants to go down and check it out that's okay too but I don't think it's anything that we necessarily need to vote on um, but if you have any further questions um, his name is Peter I don't know his last name but he's going to give me all that information are they asking us to get give support for the variance? I believe so. Of, yeah, but I don't know when the Architectural Access Board meets, Dan, Dan um, Commissioner, so I don't know if if we want to schedule a, a special meeting or, or, or if you want well, to formally I, vote on it or... Uh, we, 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 usually, we usually formally vote on acceptance of the variances uh, what I'd like to do if there's time is I'd like to have a work group meeting uh, with this person to see exactly what they want to do. Okay. Uh, so let's refer this matter to the ADA work group. And then um, if we'll see what needs to happen. If we need to have a full vote of the full commission, um, we can do that um, you know, I, I don't think it's I don't think it's something that it would probably probably be just one agenda item if it's yeah, before the, our next meeting. The, the the reason I suggest an ADA work group first is because I know there are parts of Battleship Cove, uh, including the battleship itself, that is at least not accessible to wheelchair users. Okay. So I, I I don't know what they want to do down there. Uh, I don't know what kind of renovations, if any, they have planned. I don't know what kind of variants they're looking for. But as of right now, at, at least to wheelchair users, and, and when I say a wheelchair user, uh, I'm, I'm going to clarify uh, individuals that are confined to wheelchairs. Uh, uh, there's no accessibility on the battleship. Okay, so is it okay? Is it okay if I refer this to the ADA work group to work it out? Absolutely. I, that, that's why I want to see exactly what they want to do. Okay. Okay. If there's no objections, that's that's where this is going to go. This is going to go to the ADA work group with a full report back at our next regularly scheduled meeting in June unless we need to do something beforehand, which I will correspond with people. I, like I don't a... know I, I don't know if we formally vote on every variance request that I, I don't that recall come... doing it since I've been on the commission, but uh... we we did we did vote on a couple uh something for Durfee and, and one other thing oh, I recall. Right. That's right. I am remembering it now. Yeah, we did. Okay. So, but Battleship Cove at best has limited accessibility. Uh, so that, that's why I'm extremely curious uh, what it is they want to do. Okay. I, w I will also, um, and I'm, I'm kind of thinking out loud, which is dangerous, but I will also ask our ADA coordinator to be at this meeting because if this is a if this is a serious issue, well, it is a serious issue. But if if there's a record of 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 non accessibility when it comes to wheelchair users on board the battleship, you know that then 
you know, I, I think I think there needs to be some kind of plan of action to bring them in compliance, whether it happens on this particular project, whether they come up with a plan of action or whatever. I think I think we would let the um, – we'll ask Attorney Gary Holyak to join us for that work group. Mr. Chairman, if I could make just one point of clarity. Uh, yeah. I, I, I Thank you. I don't know if there's ever been a formal record of noncompliance. I just know that over the years, I've been asked to go on the battleship for different events, fireworks, political events, and there is no way, to my knowledge, uh, for a person who is confined to a wheelchair to get on the battleship. So I don't know... I don't, I don't know whether anybody has ever filed a formal complaint. I don't know if they're grandfathered in. I'm not, I'm not trying to throw them under the bus. Uh, I'm just saying uh, what I believe is there's limited accessibility, if any, for confined wheelchair users, to my knowledge, aboard the battleship. Okay. All right. Um, is there are there is there any other um, uh, are there any other uh, suggestions or comments on this area? None at this time. Okay. Thank you. Um, next is policies from our vice chair. No updates. Okay. Um, under finance. Under finance, um, you all have the budget report for April. Um, we just got that about a week or so ago, so I'm, 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 I'm going to assume that you've, you've all seen that. And we'll move on to outreach. Um, we are pretty much all set for June 3rd at McGovern's Restaurant. Um, I think that arrival time is going to be at 10.30 because um, I've been informed that the mayor has may have some other commitments. So we may be presenting the scholarship before the meal, which is at 11 a.m. So we're going to ask for arrival time at 10.30. That will be conveyed to everybody. Um, but but we are we are pretty much all set. There will be a representative from um, Bay Coast Bank um, who will also be joining us as well. So that's Saturday, June 3rd at McGovern's, and we're, we're pretty much we're pretty much going smooth um, on this event. So I don't know if anybody has any questions. All right, hearing none. Um, do we have any? Anybody have any old business? No old business. None at this time. Okay. Anybody have any new business? Our next meeting will be Wednesday, June fourteenth, Flag Day. Um, so, does anybody have any new business? Okay, hearing none, do I have a motion to adjourn? Jesus, I'll make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> do a, okay, do we have a roll call? Chairman Dennis Polselli? Yes. Vice Chairwoman Debbie Pacheco? Yes. Commissioner Lisa Silva? I think she had to, I think she had a, uh, uh, an appointment. Okay. Uh, Commissioner Dan Robard? Yes. Okay. All right. We are adjourned. All right. Thank you.